Hello everybody, I'm Ernest. We're here at that famous church here in Sedona. We're here down here at the parking lot. Um, we're right below the church. You can see the church is right above me. And this is the parking lot. We're over down here. And we're going to head up there and uh, see what there is here. Alright, so we lucked out. We got a... Um... Yeah, it's very busy today because it is the holiday Friday and Friday's we have a Catholic Mass between 3 and 4 and that's what it is now. Okay, so they're having a Mass going on so right now. The Mass going on, it should be over in about 10 minutes. By the time you get up there, uh, it'll chapel empty out. You'll have a place to yourself. Okay. Where are you visiting? Coming from uh, San Antonio, Texas. Okay. Flying or driving? Uh, we flew into Phoenix and then rented a car. Okay. And then um, we just came from... Uh, Jerome, uh -huh, that's and a fun little town. yeah, and uh, we're staying here uh, for the weekend, and uh, then and then we'll head back Monday. So for the long holiday weekend. Yes, yeah, yeah, we're here for the holiday. Have you been to Sedona before? Some dirt trails, not even roads. She scouted around for a year. Yeah. Finally found that spot, that rock out there. It looked exactly as you see it now. And she was inspired. She was inspired. She saw that rock. She said, it looks like a mother and child. That would be Mary, mother Yeah, I see that right and here. Right. right. And, and the and praying Mary hands. Believers. Yeah. So she said, this is where I'm going to build my church. Okay. The trouble is, the land is owned by the federal government. It's natural forest land. Yeah. She had to get permission. <laughs> she had to get yeah. permission from the uh, federal government to build here. Yeah. They did lease her the land. She built the chapel in one year in 1955. It opened in 56. And it was declared a National Historic Landmark. Yes. She donated it to the Catholic Diocese of Phoenix, who owns it to this day. And it is run by in the, uh, Sedona, St. John Vianney. It's a yeah. working Catholic church. We have three services a week. The Friday service should just about be ending now. And if it's not ending, by the time you get up there, it'll be ending within a few minutes. Okay. Uh, you'll, so you, if you see a lot of people crowded in the doorway, just wait a few minutes. Hang out outside on the terrace. Okay. Take pictures. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. When you go into the chapel, before 4.30, I would encourage you to go downstairs. There's a staircase to the gift shop. They have beautiful items down there. And most of them are made just for the chapel. Oh, cool. Okay. So, what's so, the other day of the now? All right. So, he gave us a little spiel on the history, 1956, and the they were inspired by those rocks over there, the praying hand and the mother uh, and the child. And this is the, uh, is the walkway leading up to the church. And someone's stopping for a prime um, photo the rocks here are just beautiful Sedona in the distance and coming up to the church so this is now owned by the Catholic Church of uh, Phoenix the Archdiocese. It's a small church. They're having a service right now. And we're going to wait until it finishes and we'll go inside and uh, uh, do some taping in there. Well, maybe it is over. I don't know. People are walking in and out of there. So we're going to try that. It says you can step, step in these footprints and you'll see Jesus. Let's see what that's about. So the building seems to be made of like a concrete and pebble construction. It was built in the 50s, I think, 1955. It looks kind of modern just because of the design, but it's... It's been here a while. It's a very small church. Beautiful uh, surroundings. 
I'm trying to find the footprint so we can see. Uh, they say you, you stand there and you look up and you'll see Jesus. Here's kind of the story of, the, of this chapel, Chapel of the Holy Cross. It took decades of searching for a perfect location before Margar Margaret, I can't pronounce that one, inspiring modern Catholic Church could be built the uh, Chapel of the Holy Cross as an ex extraordinary architectural achievement designed by the architect Bode and Darling in the 1950s, winning a A1 AI1 honor. So anyway, it's part of the historical. It's been placed in the register, and see these. Those are the praying hands. You can see to the right. And that in the center, I think that's the mother and her child. Some people say it's a twin sister. I heard somebody say it's twin sisters, but I'm not really sure. But the guy that was riding in the, in the golf court, he was kind of explaining stuff as we were driving up. I have this little waterfall, St. Francis, uh, is who it's, this is depicting. We're still waiting for this. Uh, for the services to be over so we can go inside. But just take a look at these rock formations. Just on the, here by this, you know, this is the walkway that you head up. To, and then just look at that. Just look how beautiful that is. Darn, that's nice. No better artist than Mother Nature. So, You're so blessed to be up here. <laughs> so the church service is over, and just look at that. The uh, cross with the tree in the background of the, of the cross. The large glass that uh, gives you the view of of the church. So. Now the church is over, everybody's leaving, and uh, some people are coming around, other people are just going, go ahead. And uh, so, anyway, let me get further in here. Uh, really, the centerpiece of the church is really this, this cross, um, really large, I don't know how tall it is, but it's very tall. So this right here uh, is where the footprints are at. Then you would stand there and then you would look up and then there would be Jesus looking down on you. I'm sure it was uh, a very prominent feeling you would get after doing that. So people people are taking off their shoes and then they're placing them right there and then you would just look up and see Jesus walking uh, looking back at you so just below you come on down the steps and this is where the gift shops at This is under the church now. And you can buy all kinds of um, religious uh, things down here. Very beautiful. Rosaries, uh, keychains, and everything else. These are some, some nice bracelets. Well, and you'll be helping out the church. So. So that was the chapel of the Holy Cross here in Sedona, Arizona. Thanks for that this far. And uh, it was a, quite a, an experience. We bought some stuff in the souvenir shop and um, in surroundings here in Sedona. And uh, we are going to head out and have some dinner. See you next time.